Hello guys, we're at Almost Heaven Mower Junkyard in Bluffton, Indiana. David Bradley walked behind. Just all kinds of other stuff. Their little yard dog. I forget his name. I'm basically walking around after I bought my stuff and there's one item that I didn't see that I'm gonna look at until I was running or taking my load out but I'm putting this in front of the what I bought okay so what I see that I'm interested in is this DR. All right. All right, we'll have to ask about that. So, is there anything real old in the push mower area like what's my stuff at home is i don't see it that's old over there but still all right i gotta talk to scott okay there's a bunch of junk stuff that they're getting ready to strip out there's the push mowers again it's very hot today. There's the MTD I brought. There's more of the mowers that they're ready to strip out and junk. Engines. Bunch of engines. Bunch of miscellaneous steel. Center Council for a pickup. Chevy pickup, actually. Simplicities out the wazoo. Implements are over there. Cubs. Some John Deere's. It's kind of not organized right now. Even uh, um, the guy said so. I did get the uh, DR. 30 bucks. Owning on that. I mean, this place is huge. Uh. 
I mean, there's so much stuff here. I know I'm not going to be able to cover it all. That's a little weird one. Back here is where that MTD was. All along the side here is newer stuff I won't be filming that we're at the back of the yard right now coming up the side close to the railroad tracks there's some bowlins mixed in here some all kinds of different odds and ends Wheel horses. I don't see many round hoods. Seen a couple. They used to have a 701 in here. Not anymore. To my knowledge, at least. Scott got it pretty down pat. Here's more attachments and stuff. We're walking through the attachments really quick I didn't really look that close to them there's a wheel horse snow blower you know, around my area, we don't use a lot of snow blowers because we don't get a lot of snow. And besides that, my driveway is not suited for a snow blower. Unless you want to break a window. And yes, I know you're supposed to set it at a certain height, this and that. Here's more of those implements. Some weird weights. I don't see anything that I don't or can't live without. Uh, yeah. So here we got some John Deere's and other skags and stuff like that. I've worked on a, a, a couple F1 or 525s. They're not one of my favorites. Groundmaster, those are big Toros. Some of them have pretty good sized decks. And you got Bobcat. Just overall a bunch of stuff. There's some Yazoos. If I am thinking correctly. Some Hustlers. I'm glancing really quick over at some of the attachments.
bed the other one wasn't here. I'd be grabbing those for the uh, MTD. I'll probably just buy new ones. There is one set on a simplicity though. Real, uh, real, you know, I mean, it's, there's a lot of stuff out of here. Oh, there's some brand new tires sitting there, too. I know one thing, after I leave here, I'm stopping at Dairy Queen. This heat is getting to me. There's the other side of the scrap pile. There's a roper, there's another roper, sadly, yeah, we're running out of time too, there's all kinds of sears and stuff in here, uh, because they are only open three hours a day right now, and this is July 5th. There's a big rally. There's a couple weird ones in here, too. I looked for a gas tank for the 69. They're all too rusty. Or I can't get them out. Because with a limited time schedule, I wasn't going to just sit there and struggle. I mean, if you guys plan on coming out here, you guys should take a couple days. I mean, there's just so much. That's a Gilson built machine. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. That one over there is identical to one my dad used to have. Those rear ends weren't, went out left and right. He went through like two or three of them. This place is big. That was Scott, the owner.
looking at this place, I can see why that Kyle one guy uh, comes up here once a year and buys stuff. I don't know his name. I can't pronounce it anyway. I'm not trying to be rude or anything either. I just can't pronounce it. Now you guys think that battery mowers that, that are riders or something new no it's not here's three of them right here these are three different sizes I don't know much about them but they're from like the 70s there's some huffies Getting a drink, guys. Whew. It's a hot one today. There's a Forrest Gump mower. I've worked on those uh, old mo uh, rear engine riders. They're not fun to work on. Alright guys, this is pretty much it of the Lawnmower Junkyard. Like and subscribe. And see you on the next one. Uh, I might do an update once we get somewhere to show you exactly what I got in the bed. Only one in the style I wanted in this scrapyard. Digging out the next one. That's right. I feel sorry for the little fella. So the compact 80 is going home with me.